Aircraft have been used in head-up displays to provide information to pilots since uh, the late 1950s. Uh, the, op the optic sits in front of the pilot's eyes and gives him speed, height and other information projected onto a glass lens that he can see through so it overlays the information on the outside world. But this hasn't been possible for helicopters. In recent years though, we've developed this system, QSight, which is designed to give the same kind of information attached to an optic on the pilot's helmet so that regardless of where the helicopter pilot is looking, he has the correct information displayed in front of him. On this particular system, we have an optical head tracker that you can see here on the helmet, which allows the systems in the aircraft to know exactly where the pilot is looking. Hence, it will give him the correct symbology or video information from the sensors for the direction in which he's looking, displayed directly in front of his eye. In some systems, where the sensors on the outside of an aircraft, it will give him the direction of information for that sensor as he starts to look in that direction. This technology is now also starting to move into armoured vehicles and there's great interest in using this technology to allow operators inside an armoured vehicle to use cameras on the outside, thus allowing them to actually look effectively through the armour at the outside world while remaining safe inside the vehicle. The next evolution of this uh, technology from QSight is the Q-Warrior. This is a prototype Q-Warrior system that allows the same kind of display information to be sent to a soldier operating on the ground. It's aimed very much at platoon commanders, forward air controllers, special forces, the kind of people who will benefit from line of sight information being delivered constantly as they're carrying out an operation. The Q-Warrior is a full color display that allows symbols that would normally be sent over the battlefield network and displayed on a screen for, say, red force and blue force tracking to be displayed as red and blue, conformally overlaid over the object that the soldier is looking at. It also has a head tracking system that tells him where he's looking. But unlike the QSight system, it is a system that allows him to be tracked in free space. So as he wanders across the countryside, it's using a mixture of GPS, inertial navigation and geomagnetic navigation information to plot exactly where the soldier is and what direction he's looking in. Soldiers in the battlefield are increasingly carrying more and more electronics. To get the electronics to work reliably during a mission, they will also be carrying spare batteries and they often have to share spare batteries between soldiers for different mission equipment as well in case somebody is injured. This means that soldiers are carrying a large weight of batteries for an extended time on a patrol. The challenge we were given was to reduce the, num the number of batteries and the weight of batteries that a soldier was carrying. To do this, we developed a broadsword spine system which uses an e-textile, a conductive fabric, that shares power and data through this system without using wires, but without being wireless, so it can't be jammed or detected by other soldiers. It shares power from a central battery source, which could be on the belt or built into the harness, through the textile that is buried inside here to various connection points. On this system, we have a standard Android phone acting as the main computer, plugged into this contact point, sharing power and data through the structure of the uh, skeleton order webbing to a camera, a mobile phone, and a battery. The app on the mobile phone shows you that the system is aware of the camera and can detect the camera. We can switch the camera image on, you can see my chin, switch the camera image off again. It can detect itself, it can tell you the state of the batteries. For instance, we can then go into navigation mode and all this data and all this inf and, uh, information and power is being shared from a single central battery and through the structure here. The broadsword spine system, which we've already seen, uh, allows a lot of peripheral equipment to be attached and share power and data through the e-textile. On this installation here, instead of having a skeleton order webbing, we have a body armour system that still has the e-textile and the hub sharing power and data, as can be seen by the uh, phone here. But it also has an induction charging system built in. And what this means is, when the soldier sits down in the seat, there is an induction coil in the seat and an induction coil in the back of the body armour. This immediately transfers power from the vehicle system to his broadsword spine system, which recharges the batteries while he's waiting there. 